Mm, don't miss that. Well, we've promised you more of your letters and we've had loads to choose from. Now, Charlotte Burness, age nine from Buckinghamshire, wrote to tell us that in the last few weeks we've mentioned her relations on the show. Now, apparently, Rabbi Burns is her ninth grandfather's brother's grandson. Very confusing. And Emmeline Pankhurst is her great, great, great aunt. Well, you obviously come from a very good stock, Charlotte. <laughs> great letter there. And um, yeah. I've had a letter here from Stuart Dryber from Walls End, Tyne and Weir, which actually says, uh, Dear Stuart, I have a five-year-old friend who watches uh, Blue Peter called uh, Ethan, and uh, he thinks that I am you, and he sent a photo for us to compare. So there's the photo, and here's me. What do you reckon? Whoa, a little what? bit, maybe? Mm. Well, like, maybe a tiny a bit. bit. There's a little bit of, the of a likeness there, isn't there? Yeah? Could be, <laughs> could be. What do you think? In between the eyebrows a little bit. No way. <laughs> now, here one is one a like good me, likeness. <laughs> this is one of Katie from Beth Lovejoy, who's seven years old, no. and she's from Southampton. Thank you for that. Oh, Katie will love that. <laughs> yeah, love the eyelashes. She'll like them. <laughs> as well as letters, we get faxes and emails. But this week, we received a very special message, which was beamed by satellite from the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. Now, we've been following the progress of Tracy Edwards and her all-female crew in their attempt to sail around the world in the fastest time. Now Tracy has been keeping us updated. Hi Blue Peter viewers, this is Tracy Edwards reporting from Royal and Sun Alliance. In the time that we've been at sea sailing from Britain down to the equator and through the tropics we've had all different types of wind conditions. We've had lots of breeze, we've had no wind at all, we've had big waves, small waves. We've seen lots of wildlife on our trip, we've seen two different types of dolphins and uh, as we go down to the Southern Ocean we're going to start experiencing lots of different types of weather, it's going to start getting very cold and if something goes wrong there's no one out here to help us except ourselves so um, planning and preparation is definitely the key on a long trip like this. Now, Tracy and the girls actually crossed the equator at 7.41 on Saturday morning and are now between Brazil and the Ascension Islands. Now, so far, they've travelled 3,821 nautical miles. Now, they're still on target to break the record. And remember, you can keep up to date with her progress on our website, which links directly to her home pages at www.bbc.co.uk slash bluepeter and on page 55 on CFAX. Now, just to prove, we also take notice of your complaints and concerns. This letter from Sophia Dobson and Thomas Addison says, We are writing to inform you that we have been entirely dissatisfied with the way you have been treating Bonnie. As an example, a few months ago, we saw that Mabel went on a training course for dogs, but Bonnie was not there. And while Mabel was having complete fun, Bonnie was probably stuck in the Blue Peter studio <laughs> mooching about. Well, that's not true at all. The reason Bonnie didn't do the course was that she did it years ago. And Bonnie's only in the studio for the program. And afterwards, I can assure you, she goes home to the country where she has lots of other dog friends and has loads of fun. She's very, very yeah, happy. Yeah. She's <laughs> been there, seen it, bought the t-shirt she and your bonnet. But she? listen, she's, she's going to have her teeth cleaned on Wednesday. So that'll be interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Don't miss that one. Yeah, it's one to watch. And finally, from the Bee People's Bag, Claire Robertson has written to us from Weymouth in Dorset with a belated Valentine story. Now, it's a tale of wagging and pining. Listen up, Mabel. Apparently, her dog, Lucky, is in love with our Mabel. Oh, oh sweet. Mabel. <laughs> Valentine's Day has come a bit late for you, hasn't it? Now, every time Mabel appears, apparently Lucky goes completely berserk, barking and whining and jumping up at the screen. So, Mabel, please say hello to Lucky. And I reckon at this moment, Lucky is going to go completely <laughs> wild and just to show you what what he's sort of like we've got some pictures here and on this first picture you can see you can just about see lucky there watching the television and as soon as oh, mabel yeah. comes on look at the result <gasps> amazing look at the reaction that mabel gets <laughs> fantastic oh lucky can't get enough of brilliant well we've always had a keen eye for talented animals here on Bo bp and over the years we've witnessed many fun loving furry and feathery friends doing their funky stuff <laughs> no, 
now today we'd like to add another amazing animal to the BP Hall of Fame. This here is Nutmeg, a seven-year-old Brittany Bassett, a very unusual breed with a very unusual talent. Nutmeg is here to celebrate 100 years since the famous performer Harry Houdini demonstrated his first big escape act and that's a bit of a clue as to what she's going to be doing today. Now here behind me I have a dog-proof cage. It's made of metal as you can see and the door here is secured by this metal bolt which um, has this rod and it drops here in between these three metal loops there we go one two three and at the top there's even a safety catch which drops down like that so I think you'll agree with me it's quite a serious locking mechanism now nutmeg since she was six months old has been following in the footsteps of the famous Houdini so let's see what she has to show us today I'm gonna put her in the cage so she can do a Houdini style escape. There we go. In you go, and I shall secure it. There we go, down with that. And one, two, three bolts secured. And the safety catch too, let's see. Live and exclusive on Blue Peter, I give you the amazing dog escapologist, Nutmeg. Oh, there she goes. She's pulling it up. Can she do it? Come on, oh yes. I was on the edge of my seat watching that. Wow. We have got a replay, and uh, here it is. We think we should see this again, and we're going to look through it in slow motion. Look at look at her teeth. Teeth gets oh. in there, knocks okay. that up, and there she goes. Oh, what a star! A dog on a mission. Fantastic. <laughs> the Harry Houdini of the dog world. Fantastic. <laughs> Hope Mabel and Bonnie next? were watching that. <laughs> Pick up some tips. Nutmeg enjoys a well-earned reward. We're really going to look forward to the future to find out what's coming soon. soon. <laughs> Countdown has commenced to our special program on space. We've been to Texas, USA to report on the brand new International Space Station. It's the largest structure ever to be sent into space. So for an out of this world experience, don't miss it later this month. We've also been to Florida finding out all about the state's most feared reptile. And we'll have touchdown when Katie tackles the sport of mini rugby. And on Wednesday, we travel back in time as Connie the Conqueror tries her hand at Viking longboat racing. Oh, oh whatever she work, does, eh? she always likes to make a splash. I do oh, indeed. Oh, you know that. me too well. Yeah, so keep watching every Monday, Wednesday and Friday. Loads of stuff coming up. Yes, indeed. And keep your letters and emails coming because we always love to hear everything from we you. We do indeed. Now, we will be back on Wednesday. Yeah, we will. So we'll see you then. See ya. Bye-bye. We're going to put Mabel in the cage now, see if she can escape. <laughs> I know, let's I think see. it's a good idea. Okay, thank you. Think she's going to pick up somehow. any tips. You never know. She might be able to do it. Great morning. <laughs> <laughs> She'd relax too much. <laughs> okay. And you can catch them in the afternoon.